All right, this is a spoiler alert, a spoiler alert. If you are playing the game or plan on playing the game or don't want to know what this thing looks like, please do not look at it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. And just turn away now. All right, you've been warned. This is it. This is that nasty-looking crustacean monster. Looks fantastic. First off, I always want to thank my YouTube members and people who donate. You guys are absolutely amazing. Can't thank you guys enough. If this is your first time at the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Without further ado, let's get this bad boy on the road. Let's go. All right, after scraping off all of the nasty mold lines and priming in black, I used some shake cans, some spray paint, some black chaos from Citadel. You can use whatever you want. I am then gonna do a dry brush, giant dry brush of gray. It doesn't need a mechanic, a standard gray, it could be whatever kind of neutral gray you do have. After that, we're going to take some pure white and we're going to dry brush that on as well. Again, this is a very, very pivotal point of this miniature I'm painting it. We're using mostly contrast paints to speed this process up, to make it look nice, get it on the table. So you have to do this because this is what makes the miniature fantastic looking in a short amount of time. All right, we're going to make our first mix. There's going to be three colors that you're going to about to see right here. You're going to see some Space Wolves Gray and Griff Charger Gray. We're going to do about a 50-50 mix of these two colors. Then to just add a little bit of purple to it, we're gonna take some Levathian purple, one to two drops, nothing too crazy in there, don't wanna overpower it. We're then gonna take this color, we're gonna put it all over the shell of our crustacean, and again, you can see that that white and gray are sticking through, that's exactly what you want. You don't wanna go overpowering with it, you don't wanna go crazy. Slop it on there because we're gonna mix some colors together here in a moment. While that shell is still wet, take some of that skeleton hoard and put it on the edges of our miniature. Blend it in with that purple bluish color we have going on and it'll make a nice little transition once it dries. Next we're gonna take some Agaros Dunes to about one to two drops of apothecary white we're going to mix those two colors together and to just add a little bit of red to our dye we're going to take some volupus pink and put one drop maybe two if you feel saucy in there with this color, we're going to put it all over our skin area. And again, you can see that white and gray sticking through. And as it dries, you're going to really see it stick through. And that's what makes the miniature fantastic. As it is drying and still wet, we're going to take some Plague Bearer's Flesh and we're going to put that on the rim of the mouth area. We're going to use this color very frequently, so keep it out. Next, we're going to take some of that burgundy red color. Sigvald burgundy is the specific color. We're going to take that and then mix one to two drops of apothecary white in there just to kind of thin it out, give it some kind of a gray, duller looking red. We 
We are then going to put this on the back side of our crustacean miniature area. For the underbelly area, we're going to use some of that Gargox sewer just to make it stand out just a little bit. For inside the mouth, we're going to use some Flesh Terrors Red. And while this is still wet, we're going to use some Plague Bearers Flesh here in a second that you're about to see. Take a couple dollops of that Plague Bearers Flesh and just throw some spots into that mouth area to make that green stick out. Next, we're going to take all those vent pipes, or as I see it, vent pipes. I'm not going to ruin the mechanics of this miniature, but it makes sense what you're doing right here if you understand the game and the lore behind this specific creature. Continue just to put these in all the cracks and crevices area. This is a poison-based monster, so you really want to have that poisony look to it. For the teeth, we're going to take some of that wrath bone and put it on there real quick. Followed by some Agrax Earthshade on those teeth, just to give it a little dull color. Followed by a reapplication of Wrathbone and then some Screaming Skull, followed by some pure white on the tips of those teeth. And we're going to add one other thing after that. Just to make it look a little bit better, jive it up just a little bit, we're going to take some Nurgle's Rot and we're going to put that into the cracks and crevices and the vent areas of our miniature. I'm also going to take some of this Nurgle's Rot and put it on a little bit on the teeth and a little bit into the mouth area as well, just to give it that nice poison look. Exactly what we're going for. And finally, we're going to take some Rattling Grime and paint it onto the base of our miniature. And your favorite part of painting a miniature, the rim of the base in black or whatever color you want, because that means you're done and it's over. That was nothing. That was as easy as easy can get. And look how good it turned out for the contrast painting, making it look like a nasty creature of the deep wood. If you've watched the game, you know, or watched, if you play the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for watching. This was a quick tutorial on how to paint this miniature. I appreciate it 
everybody, I mean everyone who watches, leaves a comment, donates money, you guys are amazing. And this is exactly why I do it and I continue to do it. Um, I can't thank you guys enough for trying to build this channel as big and get this as going as big as I can. But until next time, paint on.